Another iOS emulator has dropped on the App Store. It's called Replay Game Emulator, and it's for Nintendo DS games only. Now, the only reason why I'm covering this is because apparently Delta is not available in the EU, so this is a good alternative. And this is available in the EU. So before we begin, just one quick thing. Apparently this app does not collect your data, and there's no ads in there as well, so that's two positives to this app so far. So once you open the app, you're going to be greeted with this screen. And you have to add your games directly from there, so I'm just going to add them really quick. Alright, so, so now we have the games loaded. Now I notice there seems to be no way in order to add box art. Like, you just get these blank icons instead. And if I go to the little edit button there, the only option is to delete the games, so that doesn't help with the box art, obviously. The little light bulb, it only shows you how to add games to the app. And, of course, make sure you only use games that you actually own. But again, doesn't seem to be a way to add box art. Now in settings, the only setting there really is is to turn on vibration. And that's pretty much it for that. So overall, it's a very simple user interface, but there doesn't seem to be any customization at all. So like even when I load up a game, you get this, you know, on-screen controls, and there doesn't seem to be a way to customize this either. Like you're going to be stuck with the silver layout, where unlike where in Delta you can change the skin to the screen, but this doesn't seem to have that option yet. Maybe they'll add it in a future update, but as of right now, they don't have it. And these are the options you get in the menu. Obviously, they support save states, which is very important. And they also have the turbo function if you're into that. But, I mean, that's pretty much it for this app. Again, there doesn't seem to be any customization whatsoever. But the only reason why I am covering this again is because, from what I understand, the EU only has RetroArch for DS. And some people aren't a fan of it just because of how much you have to set it up yourself. So... This is a really good alternative for anyone who doesn't really want to figure out how to use RetroArch and they just want to play DS games. So overall, I mean, it's a working app, so there's that. But that's pretty much it for this app. I just wanted to come on here and talk about it a little bit. It's a good alternative for Delta, but at the end of the day, I still think like RetroArch is going to be better at the grandscape. But all right, thank you so much for watching.